Is it a washing machine? It, it looks like it. It looks like a pile of broken washing machines. It's weird. Although, now that I think about it, if this is a bordello, then they probably have a lot of washing to do. <laughs> that makes sense. Unfortunately. Let's see. Anything in this room? Our bed is unmade. Got a desk. Rocking chair, apparently. Picture of some sexy dame on the wall. Uh, What's that? A uh, quote-unquote seamstress has a picture of a sexy dame on the wall. Well, I don't know. Don't ask me to explain I mean, how the... I mean, and, like, if it's that way, then whatever, but, like, I would think that that's not what they'd want, you know, hanging around, reminding them if that was their job. It, yeah, I don't know, it would be kind of annoying. Yeah, it can be stressful to take your work home with you, as they say. Yeah. All right, now there's lots of stuff to examine here. Check out this big pile of garbage. Looks like Coyote keeps her clothes and boxes on the floor. Interesting. What's this, a mirror? Stand is littered with action movies and cigarette butts. Action movies. A framed painting of the Chicago skyline, done in stylized silhouette. Sitting on the bed. Coyote's bed has a diary with several papers sticking out of it. Open the diary to the first paper. There's a receipt stuck between the pages and a diary entry. Let's read her diary. It's for a good cause. I, I came back from my shift to find four of Paco's goons sleeping on our apartment floor. It's getting fragging ridiculous. I want to be with him, with the real Paco. But this cutter dreck keeps messing everything up. I love him. But he's totally different with the gang. It's how I make cash, baby, he always says. I try to tell him he doesn't need the, ca need the cash. I can support him us both with what I make at the seamstresses' union. But he still goes on these runs. With these bozos all over my floor. I feel like he's just trying to see just how far he can push me before I kick him out. I try to be patient, but why does it all have to be one way? As soon as the last cutter was out the door, I lost it. I told him if he ever pulled Drek like that again, he would be sleeping in the alley. Of course he begged and pleaded with me, telling me it wasn't, wouldn't happen again. I don't want to deal with this anymore, but I don't want him to leave. He's the reason I got through all that stuff last year. Got my bartending license, got this apartment, and this life. I know he cares about me and loves me, more than his involvement with the Cutters. I just wish I could slice out a gang from our life together. Slice out the fear that comes with it. Inspect the receipt. A receipt for a Browning Max Power pistol from Gin Park downstairs, with a note saying, How big guns on hot women turn her on. Bitch, <laughs> a little professionalism, Jin, please. Flip to a different page. Open the diary to the second paper. The paper has handwritten poem on it and a diary entry. Read the diary entry. Sometimes it seems like Paco reads my mind, or my diary. Maybe he does the latter. I wouldn't be surprised. Hi, Paco! Ever since last week, he hasn't mentioned the cutters once. He leaves the apartment with a see you in a few hours, babe, and returns later without comment. I don't know if it's really going to help for us to avoid the subject and conversation completely, but I have felt better without our constant arguing about it. Last two nights, I've come home from work to, from work to Paco waiting up for me, slouching on the old dumpster couch. Dumpster couch? Maybe they got another dumpster. With a, no with a novel four inches from his face. I imagine that as I turn the key in the door, he perks up and makes himself look especially studious for when I get the door open. He seems superficially surprised to see me, but I love this little act. Read the poem. Let's just say that Paco should stick to guns and motorcycles and leave the poetry to others. <laughs> open to the third picture. There is a receipt, a receipt. An old photograph stuck between the pages. Look at the picture. The picture shows a young girl with caramel skin and dark brown hair. She has a snake wrapped around her arm, yet she is smiling. The back of the photograph has shadow scrawled on it. Let's look at the receipt. A COD receipt for a special order. Five pounds of zebra meat from Maury's Meat Emporium. Located near Pike Place Market. Hey, Pike Place. Open the diary to the fourth paper. A receipt for a wall safe. Installed near the bathroom door. Set to a combination of three, four, two, four, three, six. You don't have to memorize that, by the way, just once you know it. Is that all there is? No. The broken mirror was hiding a small safe. And put the code. Safe oh, cheerfully opens. Safe beeps cheerfully. Opens. Frag grenade. In her safe. You know, it's safer with me, really. I put 
Is that it? No. No, in her safe. Oh, in her safe, yes. Yeah, the computer. Unlike mine, it actually works. Coyote's computer is ancient. Probably fixed it out of a junkyard. Doesn't even have a data jack. Data jack is what you use to like plug directly into a computer with your mind. And the cracked display is covered with fingerprints. Tapping the keyboard causes the dust caked fans to spin up, only display to display on screen. Password? Without the password, the only other button on screen is a password recovery option. Now if I have decking three, you can run a brute force password crack on it. I actually could boost up to decking three right now, but you can there's another way. Select password recovery. Please answer three security questions to reset password. Question one. Your first childhood pet. Paco, Fido, Shadow, Teddy, George, Fluffy. Shadow. Answer two. Your favorite musical act. Concrete Dreams, Maria Mercurial, The Elementals, Shield Wall, Starfire, The Shadows. I don't recall any clues about that. No. But maybe her friends would know. Do you know Paco? He's a ganger, member of the Cutters. He's a good kid in a nasty line of work. I warned Coyote against getting too attached to that type. They don't live long. Have you heard of Maury's Meat Emporium? Her face twists in disgust. No, I'm a vegetarian. Did, did you know Jin Park side Coyote a gun recently? I'd be more surprised if she hadn't. Bouncers can deal with most of the troublemakers, but around here you need a gun just to take trash out to the dumpster. Do you know Coyote's favorite band? You can also ask about childhood pets, as you can see. But we don't need to. Indeed I do. She plays her Starfire records so loud you can hear them down here. I've told Mr. Cluet to have her turn that dreck down more than once. Alrighty, let's head back upstairs. I don't know if there's any clues to, to the band being Starfire other than just asking her. Now back to the computer. Password recovery. Shadow. Here it is. Starfire. Question three. What is the name of your hometown? You know, well, she does have a large picture of Chicago just on her wall. How do you know that's Chicago? It, no, it actually it says it on the poster. Oh, okay. Welcome to Chicago. Answer st answer store. Your password, your password has been reset to NQPABDST. For security, never write down your password. Logging you in. Computer has a list of basic applications. All right, Karma Game 3. Calendar. Three days ago, meet with Delilah about gig. Today, meet Paco for date at Pike Place Market, due in 30 minutes. Hmm, she had a date today. Contacts. Coyote's contact list has exactly one entry, someone named Paco. There is no comic number or other contact information for him available. This does not seem like a very useful list of contacts. Quick scan of her recent searches shows that Coyote has been re re reaching, reading a great deal about hellhounds. It also suggests more than a casual interest in vintage action figures. Okay. She's supposed to be rendezvousing with this Paco fellow soon. This is Kubota. How can I help you? Coyote has a date with Paco at Pike Place Market in the next half hour. I want I want to date Paco. He's mine. I'm the I'm the prettiest girl in Redmond. If you would go down there, it might bring me peace of mind. I'll call a cab for you. I should be able to get you there in time. Gambate Kudasai. Good luck. I have no idea what that means. I she might, have, that she might, might be good luck. Okay, that would make sense. I mean, for all I mean, for all I know, it might have been, you know, die streaming round eyed devil. <laughs> oh, see this crawler? Breaking news. Orc activist encourages crowd 
of 7,000 trolls and orcs to fight back against racism. Lone Star concerned concerned for public safety. You know, if I'm going to be heading out into potential danger, maybe I will finally get some, some of that armor. All right, I can get secure ninja clothing for 400. Tourists look for 400. No, okay, secure ninja. I mean, secure ninja and tourists both give me three armor. Ninja gives me one, plus one dodge. Tourist gives me plus one intelligence. Or I can get alley punk, which has four armor, and uh, grants an extra three hit points. But that costs 750. I have 1,290 million. I kind of want to have ninja clothes, just because they're ninja clothes. Okay. The one nice thing is, whenever you, whenever you buy stuff, you can immediately, you immediately go to the screen, so you can equip it immediately if you wish. Alright. <laughs> oh, it really is ninja clothes! Oh, alright, I... You know, we spent all that time painstakingly, you know, customizing our character's appearance or whatever, but I, I'm fine with... I'm fine with, you know, being, covering it up if, I, if I'm a ninja now. This is pretty sweet. The Foot Clan will rule Seattle. Alright, now... If there's anything else we needed to do here... Everybody use the bathroom before we left? And yes, I believe so. Take a cab to Pike Place Market. And we're up. Pike Place Market. And catch a cab from Touristville to Pike Place Market in a mercifully quiet ride that takes you from probably going to be mugged to probably going to pay too much for your drinks. Compared to the urban wasteland of the Barrens, the downtown area is filled with modern buildings, lighted streets, and unbarred shops, all living beneath the shadows of massive corporate arcologies. For many, these arcologies are home. For others, they're hulking monuments to where the world went wrong. Famous for its fishmongers, Pike Place Market has been around since the early 1900s. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I didn't say. It's been around since the early 1900s overlooking the bay. Now it's a market for all things, legal and illegal. A melting pot of the haves and have-nots. Even though most of the shops are closed, the sights, sounds, and smells of the market hit you from the moment you step out of the cab. Apparently you can... They make, a, they make a mighty fine zebra burger in this neighborhood, too. Yeah? It's still raining. I mean, isn't, isn't a zebra just like a horse? I don't know I don't know if they're actually closely related to horses or if they just happen to be superficially similar shape. It's a good question. Join us in change... Oh, Universal Brotherhood! Build a better tomorrow. Today. That was another one of those bike... Like tri wheeled one man rickshaw thingies. What's that say? I don't know. Tiddly bits junk shoppy. Oh, 